Well, good morning, everyone. I had one of my viewers, I think I had mentioned in one of the videos that uh, I cook uh, milk gravy with sausage from scratch. <clears throat> and I also make no-bake biscuits to go with my gravy. And my viewer said, well, I'd love to see a video on that. Because evidently they live alone and they like to see how you make or can cook small portions of food rather than cook for five or six in a family. It's a lot different because I've lived alone for a long time and I've learned to cook things in small quantities, you know, to accommodate me as a single person. And sometimes I do cook big pots of stuff, but like I said in previous videos, I freeze a lot of my stuff. I make my own TV dinner, so I don't um, waste food. I actually save money by freezing my own TV dinners, basically. Now, we're going to start out with just a cup full of self-rising flour. I mean, you can use all-purpose if you want. I prefer to use self-rising when I can get it. Uh, it hasn't been always available since the COVID pandemic. There's been a couple of times I had to actually buy all-purpose flour, but I don't mind using it. You know, you just have to remember to put your baking soda in your, uh, or baking powder in your uh, salt in. So, first of all, I've got a cup of flour. Now, this is going to make four pretty good-sized biscuits. So, I got started out with a cup of flour. I'm putting in about a tablespoon of olive oil or any type of cooking oil you may have. And I'm going to start putting in about a half a cup of milk. Now, you can use cream. You can use um, buttermilk, whatever you want to use. You can even use water. I prefer to use just a little bit of milk. And mine is evaporated milk because I keep usually keep evaporated milk on hand because I am somewhat allergic to the milk. So I don't buy whole milk as a general rule. And it may not take a whole uh, half a cup. I fill my cup up a little bit more than half because I wasn't sure if it was going to take just the half or maybe almost a half. And you can see, I did put a little bit much in there. I'm going to have to add um, just a little bit of flour to uh, combine it. And I do this because I started out using canned biscuits, something easy. Or I'd use leftover biscuits and just put them on a plate heat them up and um, put my gravy on them. I don't know what I did with my little scoop. But anyway, I'm just going to add a little bit of flour, a couple of tablespoons, just to be able to knead this flour just a little bit so I can make it into a biscuit ball. <laughs> Don't want to mix it much because some people make the mistake of overworking their dough and it makes your biscuits tough. And some people will roll these out and cut them. I just basically divide up the dough in four pieces and I form my own little dough ball to make my biscuit. You can see I'm just 
I just rolled it out and I'm cutting out four sections and you don't have to be exact and I know this is not exact I got one small <laughs> in fact I may pinch off a little bit of this big one to put in with this little one <laughs> then I'm just basically gonna fold over under the edges a little bit and I do the old biscuit roll. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that. But that's the way the old timey people used to roll their biscuits. I put the bottom of it down in some flour so I can leave it here on this uh, dish. Because I want my dough just to sit there for a few minutes. It may even start to rise just a tiny bit. Yeah, that one don't. Wanna... It's not coming out just right. flour on the bottom. I don't want it sticking to my plate. And I'm going to put the flour in the spoon aside and the milk aside because I will probably just dump that leftover flour right in my gravy because <laughs> I just use regular flour in my, my gravy I'm going to go ahead and, um, and get my hands cleaned off I'm going to what I'm going to do is go ahead and preheat my little uh, cast iron frying pan over here. Get this camera in a good position or a good spot. Well, maybe if I put it over here. Well, first of all, I'll show you my cast iron pan. I got an 8-inch cast iron pan, and I usually leave a or put one of those aluminum pie pan tins flattened out underneath it and what that does it just makes it like the bottom of the pan is thicker and it helps distribute well the cast iron pan basically will distribute heat evenly but I wanted more protection so I put that plate or the pie pan underneath it and I'm just going to turn that on low And I'm going to let that be heating up while I come over here. And I'm going to start making my sausage gravy. And I buy my sausage by the pound in the rolls. I've already used some of this. That's the reason I had it wrapped up. But I'm not going to use a whole, roll, a whole pound of sausage. Because it's just me. I don't want that much gravy. I'm, I'm going to use maybe a quarter of a pound of sausage. Now this is just if you're cooking for one or two people. This is plenty sausage to put in there. And I'm just simply going to brown that sausage, break it apart, and brown it. And 
And I could have made a whole pound of sausage and then just froze the gravy, but I'm running out of room in my freezer. <laughs> and this is a quick, easy way to make you biscuits and gravy. And it doesn't take that much time to do it. So, Mardell, this was a, a basically a video for you. Because <laughs> I think they are the ones that uh, asked me if I'd make a video on it. And you'll have to... Uh, Look over me stumbling around because I had a death in the family. Christmas Eve day. And I'm not over that. So I'm... I've had that on my mind. and You know, I just haven't been myself for several days. So... Yeah, and I'm in my PJs this morning. <laughs> I don't usually get dressed till after I fix my breakfast in the morning or at least drink a cup of coffee. And I've not had my coffee yet or either hot tea. And I am going to put about a teaspoonful of oil. Not much. All you need is just a bare, the bare minimum to coat the bottom of your pan. Now, once you've seasoned your cast iron, you really don't have to put oil in it. But when I make my biscuits in my cast iron skillet, I like to at least coat the bottom. I mean, then I'll even take a paper towel and make sure it's spread around evenly. And that even soaks up some of the oil. So it's just basically barely coated. And I'll let that pan continue to heat up a little. And you will need a lid that fits your pan. So when you put your biscuits in there, you can cover them. That's even actually a little bit more sausage than I fix <laughs> when I fix my biscuits and gravy. But that's okay. Because you don't need hardly any sausage in your pan when you're cooking biscuits and gravy. But I just break it all up and let it brown. And you will need milk of some kind. I use evaporated milk and I add a little bit of water to it. But if you have whole milk or low-fat milk or any kind of milk, you can use it in your biscuits and gravy. I've got about a cup fixed here. And you can see how my biscuits have started to rise a little bit. They're not quite as flat as they were. And they'll rise even more when I put them in the pan. So I think the pan's heated up enough. The dough's rested enough. So I'm just simply going to place them right in my pan. Can press them down just a tiny bit, not much. 
and then you're simply going to put your lid on it. So while you're, you're fixing your gravy, your biscuits can be cooking. And you keep it on low. You don't ever turn it up on high. You keep it on a low heat. So it'll gradually heat up those biscuits and start cooking them. Y'all, I've got to have my cup of coffee. I'm still half asleep. <laughs> I made my Mexican cornbread yesterday to take to my son's house. And I have the recipe basically in my head. I don't have it written down. And I honestly forgot to put my cheese in my corn mixture. I put my cream corn, I put my jalapeno peppers in it, and a little bit of oil. Mixed it up, put them in the muffin pans, put it in the, the oven and cooked them. I ate one as soon as I took them out. And the minute I took that first bite, I realized I did not put my sugar, I'm not my sugar, but my cheese in my Mexican cornmeal mix, which I was so disappointed because I was cooking those for my son for Christmas to go with Christmas dinner because I know he loved them. But they do taste different when you don't put the cheese in. And you just put regular shredded uh, chark or medium cheddar cheese in it to cook it. Okay, now while I save my flour, I'm just going to put a little bit of flour in there on my sausage. Just sprinkle it around. Doesn't take much. <laughs> you should have enough in the bottom of your um, bowl to do it. And just let that cook a little bit. Pan's heating up nicely. Now it does take about 10-15 minutes or so to cook those biscuits. Sometimes maybe a little longer since you got them on top of the stove instead of the oven. But it's a great way to fix fresh homemade biscuits just for one person without having to heat up your oven. And you don't have to cook a whole big pan of biscuits. I got my coffee, y'all. <laughs> right there. I'm going to be drinking my coffee now. Then after it's brown, you know, cooked just a few minutes. Basically what it did, it soaked up the grease. What little bit of grease there was in from that sausage. It soaked it right up in that little bit of flour. Turn my burner down just a tiny bit. And then I start adding my milk. And I guess I put about a quarter of a cup of milk in there so far.
So I'll, I'll start letting that thicken up a little bit and then I can gradually add milk as I need it. And you can season it with salt and pepper. I thought I had everything out and ready, but I didn't. <laughs> and just season it to your taste, you know. Some people may not even want to put pepper on there. Some people may not want to put salt. But I put just a tiny bit of salt. I mean, I try to watch the salt because I don't want... <laughs> I know it's bad for your blood pressure. So, I like biscuits and gravy, but I try to keep it healthy too, so. As you can see, there was hardly any grease at all that came out of that sausage. Barely enough to, to get that flour a little wet. And it'll gradually start thickening up for you. It might take about a cup of milk, I don't know. I've, I've used about a half a cup of milk in here so far. But you see, this is a little eight inch frying pan. It's not a big pan. And this is for people like me that eat on a budget as well. Because if you buy biscuits and gravy already made at the store, you're probably going to pay three or four or five dollars for the smallest package of uh, sausage gravy that you can find. And if you get the combination of the biscuits and the gravy in a package, you'll pay more than that. And as you can see, I didn't even use but a quarter pound of sausage. I'm using about a cup, half a cup of milk, a little more. And that's basically it to make your biscuits and gravy with a little bit of flour. And my biscuits are rising in my pan. So I keep an eye on them, but I don't, like I said, I don't want them to cook too fast. You always want to keep that heat down low on your biscuits so they don't burn. And it gives them time for that heat to help them rise up. Because if you cook them too fast, they're not going to rise. They're going to burn. And you're going to have hard biscuits. I want light fluffy biscuits. So you want to cook them real slow. put the rest of that milk in there. And it just needs to cook a little bit. It cooks up the flour that's in the pan, in the, the milk, and then it still helps thicken the gravy a little. So it does need to cook just a little bit. But you don't want it on too high heat. You want it kind of to a like a simmering boil. Kind of like a simmering boil. That way it doesn't boil over. I really wasn't going to fix biscuits and gravy this morning, but 
I got up thinking about Mardell wanting to know, wanting me to do, post a video on it. So I said, well, I've got sausage out already that th it's thawed up. I've already been cooking part of it, so I decided I'd just go ahead and fix some biscuits and gravy this morning. y'all have a good Christmas yesterday? I did. I went to my son, so it was a good time over there. My daughter-in-law, her, she was married previously, and she's got a, a daughter that's grown, and or two daughters and a son that are grown, and she came over with her boyfriend and his two little boys, because he's divorced, and they were real, it was a lot of fun watching them open presents and get so excited. And they really got excited over the Yoda or the baby Yoda that was on top of the Christmas tree with the ball hanging from the ceiling, you know, that he was supposedly keeping up in the air by the force, so to speak. <laughs> they were tickled to death over that. They were surprised when they saw it. I told my son when I, he sent me a picture of what he put at, on that tree as his topper that I said, oh my God, those little boys are going to be <laughs> so surprised and excited when they see him on top of that tree. Because you know how little kids are. I'm going to turn that down just a tiny bit and just let it cook some. Check on my biscuits. They're doing nicely. They, they're they risen or rising. They're probably still rising a little bit. But basically now I just need to let my biscuits cook some more and my gravy sit there and simmer a little bit while I drink my coffee and talk to y'all. <laughs> my son and daughter got me a new food processor and I've never used one of those food processors. I've always used things like the Ninja that I have been using or, you know, just a regular um, blender. So I'm going to have to learn how to use this food processor since I've never used one. She gave me a really, or they gave me a pretty uh, sterling silver necklace. And I can show you this thing. <clears throat> and they gave me a little statue of an angel that has mom on the front. Right there on the heart. You can't see it, but it's got mom written on there. But I thought that was adorable. And I know it looks Christmassy, but I think I'm going to leave it up on the shelf all year. I don't think I'm going to pack it away. Just leave it up here on the entertainment center. And I'm sorry I keep walking away from the <laughs> camera. Yeah, they, they said that they thought I could use that food processor since I did grow a garden and I can stuff sometimes. I don't do a whole lot of canning. But I have been known to can uh, pickles. I make pickles out of cucumbers and zucchini and squash, the yellow squash. 
Because one year I had an overabundance of it. I was giving it away to my son and everybody and I and my neighbors and still I had tons of squash, zucchini, and cucumbers. So I decided I was going to start pickling it. So I made uh, sweet pickles out of my zucchini and squash and they were really good. I haven't had that much uh, squash and zucchini since though because of the weather. So I don't know what will happen with my garden this year. I've got to get out there today and uncover some of my plants that I covered up because it's going to be in the 40s at night the rest of this week and I don't think it's going to get down as cold as it has been. So I need to get out there and uncover all of my seedlings and stuff like that and see see how they're doing right now. Because you remember before Christmas I, I covered my stuff up with cardboard. And normally I wouldn't cover stuff up but it was going to get so extremely cold like down to 10 degrees and 12 degrees for several nights and it was suggested through the almanac, the garden almanac to if you have seedlings, you know, coming up that it might pay to try to cover them up. Full growing plants it shouldn't hurt, not a winter crop, but seedlings it might. So just take, I took the added precaution and covered things up hoping that my seedlings would be okay when I uncovered them. And if they're okay, they should start really growing this week and we're going to get bright sunshine every day. As you can see, my gravy is just a little bit browned. But I like it that way. Most of the time, milk gravy is really white. That's because they don't brown, brown the uh, sausage. I like to brown my sausage a little bit before I um, put my milk and stuff in it. So it does come out a little bit brown. Now, I've already turned my biscuit. I cooked them for a little bit on one side. You just want to barely brown them. And then turn them over and then brown them again like that. And they're done. I mean, it only takes about five minutes on each side to cook them. I got them a little bit browner than what I wanted. And everybody I know anywhere that eats biscuit and gravy... They always cut it in half, cut the biscuit in half. And you see, that's a pretty good sized biscuit right there. I made four biscuits with that cup of flour. My gravy's got a little bit thick, but that's okay. But I tell you what, that is some good eating right there. And like I said, if you don't like the, the gravy to get browned looking, just don't brown your, your uh, sausage as much. I like to get my, uh, my sausage real crispy. And when you do that, it just makes the gravy a little bit brown instead of milk white like normal. But like I said, that's the way I like it, so that's the way I do it. This is my breakfast, y'all. Mmm. That is so good. Biscuits and gravy, y'all. Look at that. That is really good right there. Mm. I might have to fix me another cup of coffee to eat with this.
Look at that. Don't that look good? That is some of the best biscuits and gravy you'll ever be able to get anywhere. And you would fix them yourself. So with that, I want every I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Y'all have a safe and happy new year. And I will see you on my next video. Bye now.